It's a top of the table clash. We take on NK Maribor, and then we have a cup quarter final to follow. Roll the intro. And welcome back to the Journeyman Save. I nearly said it again. I nearly said NK Maribor. It's not. It's the Journeyman Save. Oh, we need to get out of Slovenia before it keeps doing me head in. Right, it's been a really good season so far. We've lost one game all season in the league. A 3-2 loss to Endi Garisa. We were 3-0 down inside 30 minutes. Came back with two goals but couldn't find that equaliser. However, we were last together for the Arsenal game where we put up a good fight but lost 2-0. We then went and beat NK Dob 2-0, took our revenge on them, which was good. We took out all the anger of getting knocked out by Arsenal on NK Dob. Followed that up with a 1-1 draw against Triglav Klanje. Dijan Vokic scored. He's a thorn in my side, and I probably should have signed him. We then played Selge and won 4-2. Goals from Boateng, Elznik, Kaisela and Alves getting us the win. Then we had that loss to Gorisa. Then we played Ankaran Hervatani. They were top of the league at this point, and we beat them 4-2. Kingsley Boateng, Van Kass getting a brace, and Kaisela getting the fourth. Then we played Lumji. We beat them 2-1 with Zansela and Van Kass getting the goals. We beat Bruda in the um, second round of the cup in extra time. They got a man sent off in 75th minute. And then it took us 15 minutes and we didn't score. And then we scored right on the brink of half time and extra time. And then right, Jan Petrick, well done, getting your first goal in the journeyman, to be honest. It was quite a good finish as well in the 117th minute, which was pretty damn good. Then we beat NK Selj at 5 0. We absolutely ripped them to shreds. Alves with the penalties, Selar getting a hat trick, and then Biaric making it 5. We beat Ruda Valenge 3 0 with goals from Zan Selar and Timmy Elznik. And we've just beaten MK Dozali 3-0. Goals from Erimenko, Magro and Vankas. Now, I can hear you all there. Who the hell is Magro? Magro is a Brazilian centre-forward we've signed. Who doesn't look like he's anything special, but his potential ability is brilliant. He cost us nothing. He came on in a free from Hajduk Split, where he had made three appearances before. But he's already put his stamp on the team and got a goal in one game I think he's going to be okay. He just gives us another option. We got him in purely because we let um, Turkus go. I can't remember where we let Turkus go, but he has gone. Uh, he went to Triglav on loan, actually, funny enough, because we were trying to buy their striker, but he they wouldn't have it. They wanted to get a replacement in before we could buy him, that Dijan Vokic. We wanted to get him in, but Triglav wouldn't sell him unless they bought a replacement. So we bought in uh, Magro. We've also bought in Joe Ledley, the man with the best beard in football. Joe Ledley joins us. His stats are brilliant. He's easy. Well, it says backup player, but he's not. He's been bossing the midfield while I've been playing it. Three appearances, 6.7. His stats don't say it, but he makes so many tackles and just gets involved. It's really good. And we've bought in, um, we've bought in a backup right back, mainly because I'd run out of options of other people to try and bring in at right back. No one wanted to move to us. No good right backs wanted to move to us. So we've brought in Junior Otoo, who's pretty terrible, but he's quick. That is literally the only reason I brought him in. He's uh, he's here on a nine-month contract. He's not going to keep it. It won't be renewed. But he is a Gabonese international. Um, he joins from Lan in France, where he's not really done that much, mainly played for the reserves. But it's, um, he's in. Junior Otto, just because Pusaver, if he got injured, we literally had no one to back him up. So I don't expect to see Junior Otto much in this series at all. We've also had a slight tweak in the formation change. We pushed the holding midfielder up into an attacking midfielder and put both of these guys on defend. Purely because we've got Ledley and he can play that centre midfielder on defend really well. And the advanced playmaker was actually getting the best out of Eremenko. But obviously, Jan Petrik is playing at the moment because Eremenko picked up an injury. Jan Petrik, you're going to get a start against our biggest rivals in NK Maribor. So without further ado, let's crack into the game. And here we are. we both lining up in the 4-2-3-1 formation. They've got Ivanusek up front, the guy that I really wanted to sign. We've got Zan Selar, who is a in-form striker. Jan Petrik is obviously could be the weak link, no offence Jan, could be the weak link in the middle, wearing 
my favourite shirt number, 33. I'll have three or 33 will be my shirt numbers that I give myself. Uh, so, Jan, feel honoured that you've got that shirt. He is in, our Dutch youngster. They're also playing a region in there. So, it could be the battle of the young attacking midfielders, which is quite interesting. Joe Ledley and Ricardo Alves make up our middle two. They've got Tomic and Oglinek. And then Psycho SBR, which Kaisela and Puseva make up the back four. Jan Zakovic in goal. So, we will get the game underway. Biaric is a little bit tired, but he's been in such good form. I didn't really want to drop him. Uh, passionately, let's give the fans the performance they're expecting. Nothing else needs to be said because it is Derby Day and uh, they're a very good team. Um, I don't feel it's my place to comment. Any team will miss a player of his calibre. Um, I don't want to discuss this right now. I'm going to play free throw and attacking football. Um, it's been good for someone. I don't see it being an issue. It's allowed us to be extra prepared for this fixture as the derby gets underway. Now, I would try and give this derby its proper name, but I really cannot pronounce it. So I'm not even going to try. Maybe next time we play Maribor, because I'm sure another future episode will be us v Maribor. I'll try and pronounce it, but I'm really not going to try it in this one. It's been really boring. 30 minutes in, nothing. We've had six shots, two on target. They haven't had a shot. They fouled us six times. It's It's been dreadful. 35 minutes are gone. No highlights. Okay, oh, we have a highlight just before half time. It's um, thrown back to us. I assume we put that out for Tomic's injury. Up to Alves. Alves turns into Joe Ledley, who stubbed his finger. And he's given that ball away after I was bigging him up. Into Ivan Usek. Cuts around. This will probably be a goal because they haven't had a shot on target yet. It's cut back to Tomic, who's just come on after his injury and fires it over the bar. Nil nil. Probably going to be like that till half time. And it is like that until half time. So it's been a pretty dire game, to be honest. The strikers really aren't getting into it. Boateng is going to be come off and be replaced by Savage. We're going to talk to the team and assertively tell them, let's give the fans a performance. Hopefully that will rile them up a little bit more. They've taken off Tomic, who had the, well, had an injury, and brought on Spadora, who's another youngster. Looks like he could be okay. Our scouts don't recommend him at all, but we'll have to see what he does in this game. Okay, we're going to make a sub because Pozek Vankas has picked up a tight calf, apparently. So Elznik's going to come to replace him. And then we've got a conundrum. I'd normally take Zan Seller off on a 6.5, but Biarich being on a 59%, he's really struggled with that knock that he's brought into the game. But he is playing quite well. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm just worried that they've got a very good striker. They've taken off Sprora already. He made it 13 minutes in the game before being subbed off. <sighs> That, I feel for the lad. I feel for the poor guy. That is terrible. And I think 20 minutes to go. I'm going to give it 15 minutes to go. And then I'm going to make the call. And it's... Uh, I've just... Oh, Robert Pusevar is injured now. I mean, luckily I've brought in a backup right back. He's not on the bench. But it's going to have to be Clemens Sturm to come on at right back. That's really annoying. Because now I've got to leave Zan Selar and Biaric on the pitch. As we go into the final 15 minutes, that has scuppered the plans I wanted to do. Scuppered you guys getting to see Magro as well as a target man, but hopefully it will be okay. We have a, though they have a free kick again, getting mixed up with what club I am. Bade shoots, good save from Janzakovic from that close in. Normally, Bade finishes those chances into Store. Store out to Bade again. What can he do? Back to Zipelji into Bade. Good tackle from Sturm, is it? No, it's not. He's fouled him. It's not a good tackle at all, but nothing comes of the free kick as. There's obviously tackles flying in in this game. Lots of uh, little injuries and nicks and yellow cards. As Psycho Esk has a throw to Jan Petrick. Ball in, looking for Elznik, but it's cleared. And Zavipej picks it up. Back to Elznik, good interception. Petrick to Selar. Give it back to Petrick. Savic. Oh, he's put it in at the near post. I was not expecting that. I thought he was going to cross it. We get a 1-0 lead with about two minutes to go as Elznik intercepted that pass really well into Jan Petrick. I thought after he'd passed that and then ran into this space, thought Savic was going to cross it, but he fires it in at the near post and Stipka, who is, well, the best average rating goalkeeper and the most clean sheets in the league so far, it gets beaten at his near post and we have a corner. Savic. To Elznik on the edge. What will he do? Don't lose it. Back to Savic. Savic. Back to Elznik. Elznik shoots. Jan Petrick. Ledley. Joe Ledley puts it into the top corner. And it's 2-0 with six minutes of injury time. I think we're probably going to be all right now. As Elznik's shot was blocked. He went back to Savic and then went back to Elznik. Who took a shot. Blocked. Fell to Petrick. Petrick gets an assist. Jan Petrick 
assist maker extraordinaire. We're going to try and pull you around with all the clubs we go to as well. As we're into injury time. And we have another throw deep in Maribor territory. Zan Seller comes forward to the edge. Shoots. It goes wide. I don't mind about that. It's good time wasting. We have bossed this game. That possession stat. The shots on target stat. It's been brilliant. As um, I don't know why Janzakovic didn't just catch that. Okay, let's go on the defensive. Savage drop back. Elznik drop back. Ricardo Alves drop in there. Jan Petrick drop in here. Uh, winger, well, wide midfielder on defend. Wide midfielder on defend. Uh, defend, defend, defend. Defensive fullback on defend. Defensive fullback on defend. Uh, we'll go to defensive. We'll waste time. We'll play at a much lower tempo. We won't close them down as much. Be more disciplined. Stay on your feet. Dribble less. Don't need to look for the overlap. Um, and I think that's us done. We'll keep a structured shape as well so that everyone stays in the formation that we want them to. As uh, Maribor make it interesting with a minute to go. As Ogdenek puts in. Now, why didn't Janzakovic catch this? He's just completely misjudged it. It's hit his foot and gone into the back of the net. So it's made it a little bit tense. But this should be the final highlight. Up to Bade. Bade into Smee. Smee up to Storr. They've got a bit of space here. Into Zinko. It's a free kick to us. That's good. I saw everyone have stopped. I was making sure we hadn't given away a stupid free kick. But that should be the final whistle. And it should give us a four-point lead, I think, at the top of the league, which is absolutely wonderful. That 90th minute strike from Joe Ledley was enough to give us the win after Maribor scored in the 92nd or 93rd minute. So, a very good performance. There we are, look at that. Four points clear at the top of the league. A better goal difference than Maribor as well. And that is normally something crucial. And the other thing that's crucial is that we've beaten them in the league. And we know that the league is sorted by points and then results against the opposition. So, it's, that win is crucial. Pusava is out to up to two weeks. Oh, no. We've got that really crap right back um, who's going to have to make an appearance that this sort of result should prove massive momentum beating your bitter rivals you can see what these games means to the fan it's great to do it for them um they're entitled to plan as they want as long as it's in the rules of the game i'm not sure we can do it and we're playing as they see fit it's up to everybody to find a way of dealing with it jan petrick was absolutely outstanding well played jan well played round of applause so he gets man of the match as he came into the team replacing Elimenko. there you go maybe it's a future star in the making jan petrick Congratulations, that that is what gets you. If you want to be in the game, all you have to do is donate on Patreon. I'm going to start bringing in different levels of things. The more the more Patreons I get, we're going to start bringing in different levels. So you can still get your name in the game for just $1 a month. I think if we do $5 a month, I think that will be a tier where I can then, after I've finished playing the game, I can release it and send it to you if you want it as a save to carry on playing. So, oh, look. Just everything's got a bit out of hand. Leave it alone. We'll be back for that quarterfinal first leg against Anklan Havertaini in just a short second. And here we are. We make a number of changes for the cup game. So Mazura starts and goal. Oto makes his debut. Lovro comes in at centre back. Eup and Psychoesque are playing as the other centre. Well, centre back and left back. Psychoesque, one of. I think possibly the only player that keeps his place in the team. Kletu and Ivkovic might start in the centre. Oh, Jan Petrik keeps his place as well behind the striker. Elznik on the right. Horvat comes in on the left. And Magro starts up front, front for you to see. They line up in a 4-1-2-2-1. They're not a bad team They because they were top of the league for quite some time. I'm still going to say I expect nothing from a win because we're at home and we should be winning. We've already beaten them once this season in the league. We really should be winning this game as well. Um, I'm just going to make one little change and Magro's going to become a target man on attack. So he's a little bit more comfortable in what he has to do. Some players will play here, others will play there. Calmly, he's just being rested. That's the one we said before. Um, Ivkovic comes in as Alves. He's been after a bit more regular action and this will make him play well. He's a natural choice. Leo Eup, obviously. What a stupid question. But that is one a hell of a name I'm going to have to pronounce when he gets the ball. Because his name is J... Ottawa, Ottawa, Otto, Otto, Etu, wasn't it? It was Etu like that, I think. So it'd be Otto. We're just going to go with Otto. But see his name when it appears when he gets the ball. So here we come. Lovro picks it up into Kletu, up to Elznik, Jan Petrik to Magro. Magro turns to Horvat. 
Horvat is looking to beat his man, gets to the byline, swings across him looking for Magro, falls to Elznik who shoots and hits, and then Jan Petrik is there. And just in this video alone, Jan Petrik, you have a goal and an assist. I mean, you're going to become possibly a journeyman favourite of this whole series, I think, in the case. Tommy Horvat with the ball in, Magro is beating the air, lucky deflection to Elznik, good save from the keeper, and Jan Petrik is there to pounce in the famous number 33 shirt. I'm... That's what it's being called now. The famous number 33 shirt. Uh, puts us 1-0 up in the cup quarterfinal first leg. So a little question for you today. After this season, what do you think we should do? Obviously, it looks like we're going to be at least in with a good chance of winning the league. So I think we win the league, hopefully win the cup as well, and look to move on to a different country. But where would you like me to go? Obviously... This does depend on the answers that we get. As more people watch the last the last episode, we'll get a lot more answers into people if they like what I'm doing with the, the two years at a club and then moving on or a year and a half or two years at a club and moving on or should I stay a little bit longer at clubs. I think that's sort of redundant when we're, we win a league title because that's the point, isn't it? We're, we're trophy hunting. We want to just move around and win as many as possible. So I'll never... Well, I'll try never to resign from a club. I'll always just try and move jobs. But I think there's a there's a good there's a good case for saying that if we win the league with Ljubljana, we might as well move on, possibly resign and see what else is out there. But the the thing with having all these leagues loaded from Europe is that they all play at such different times. Obviously we've got like the leagues in Scandinavia are mid season when the leagues in normal like continental Europe uh, have finished so there's always a chance that there'll be a job available somewhere which is really good for me as I want to make this a good journeyman save and show you loads of different leagues that you've never seen before as Horvat comes down the left wing back to Ivkovic into Kletu Kletu up to Jan Petrik Jan Petrik on the edge ball that's a very interesting ball to Otto Zue into Elznik Jan Petrik into whoever that is Horvat's there what a save gets on the rebound and puts it in Andalic can't keep it out and this, according to this is our bloody reserve team. This is incredible. Otto Zui, um, with the ball on the right, into Elsnick. Jan Petrik turned, put it back to Elsnick. In goes, what a ball that is. That's a great save from the keeper, but Horvat reacts quick enough and fires it in at the near post. 2-0 up in the first leg of the quarterfinals. Lovely stuff. But unfortunately, Magro is not really impressing in... Well, on his debut, I guess we could call it, for live com debut. So he's going to be replaced by Von Berger, who's... Slip down the pecking order a little bit, and you'll realise Johan Tailhorst has as well. He's, you know, he's he'll be my favourite in this save, but if he's not good enough, he's not getting picked. I probably should pick him in future cup games and bring him on in every single cup game. But I say I'm very pleased that we're playing our reserve team and we're two 0 up. It looks like it's going to be quite a cruise. It should be pretty easy. So it's five minutes to go. I'm just going to rest some players so Psycho esque can come off and have a rest and be replaced by Clement Sturm. And I don't know who else should we rest. I should really rest Jan Petrik, but I haven't got anyone to replace him. So you're going to get another whole game. And I think we'll take off Ivkovic and bring on... No, because Biaric is absolutely knackered, so I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll just... We'll I'll just leave it as it is. Why not? We'll leave it as it is. We're 2-0 up. Just that one. So, Eremenko has announced he's going to retire at the end of the season. So his last season in football will be with Ljubljana. So hopefully we can win him a league title as well. As uh, Otto Zue clears it, looking for Horvat, but Huma picked it up for um, Ankrovan, Hervatani. It's a great name. Andrich brings it forward. It'll probably be the full-time whistle now as Thurm wins the header, but it is the full-time whistle. We get a pretty good lead going into the second leg of that quarterfinal, which is very, very good. A nice victory. Well done, lads. Good to see. So we'll leave the match, as you can see. That no, the other, well, the second leg's coming up soon. We're not going to play it as a live com. We are pressing on with this, um, well, with this season really at quite, quite the speed. As that's what I really want to do. As Camacho is looking at Junior Ato for his next Gabon squad. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get picked. I can't imagine there's too many players that will be keeping him out at right back. Lloyd Palan, who we don't know. And the other right back is either this guy, Ulysses and Dong, who we don't know, who's playing for a pretty weird team, and uh, Andre Poco, which is a great name, who does look pretty good, and he's more a centre midfielder. Anyway, so I'd suggest he could get into that squad, which will be good for him. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. When will we be back next? We'll probably be back just before the winter break. So, well, there you go. We're playing Maribor again. 
just before the winter break. So probably that double header there, Domzale and Maribor, uh, and then we'll do the winter window, and we'll be back after that and see what sort of games we've got coming up. So thank you all very much for watching. Leave a comment below to the answer to the questions that I've mentioned. Leave your answers below. But yeah, loving this series, loving all your comments, loving interacting with you guys. It's been great. And uh, yeah, let's keep it up and keep it moving forward. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.